Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, we've got our underwater go fish cam video. I was waving there. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I not only put out these underwater videos, but lots of fishing adventures. And we have an action-packed video for you today. Here's one I almost missed as I was going through. Take a look at the bottom there. We're gonna slow it down because you probably missed it. Look down there at the bottom. We have a whiting coming in the scene right now. There's his tail. You can see his tail. You can compare it to that picture. We got a Gulf Kingfish. And comes, swoops around, has that bait in his mouth, shakes it right off. Happened so fast that I completely missed it the first time I went through. And I reeled it in and nothing was there, so we cast it right back out into the water. As you can see, I was pretty murky. This was Labor Day. And it was at Varn Park. It, water was 88 degrees, three to five foot surf. And we had the incoming tide most of the time. Here we go to the next uh, creature here, little speckled crab down there in the corner. We see these speckled crabs a lot in these videos. We're gonna see even more of them later on doing unique things. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. And I hope you watch this all the way through because right at the end is the best hookup that I have had on the Go Fish Cam, probably other than that redfish a couple weeks ago that I posted. Here we got another whiting. You can see him there. The, the camera was swinging pretty good, so it was hard to get a good view of him there. But yeah, whiting came in. You can see him come back a little bit. Now we've got a pompano watching him coming in, checking out the bait tries to get it, but I think what's happening there is the hook is down. It's like facing downward and he can't quite get it into his mouth. So he just takes right off. And a couple minutes later, we have this, probably the same pompano keeps coming back, trying to get that bait. And I think it's cool how they move with the current. You can see as the, as the current is moving the bait around, the fish is kind of moving with it. But yeah, he's He's hanging around, he's trying to get this. You can see he tries several times, but that hook, it looks like it's just face, everything's facing downward, and he's coming from the top. He tries again from another direction. This was like maybe less than a minute later, but look how nice and yellow his underbelly is there. Really, really pretty looking pompano. So now we, we had 25 minutes that passed without any fish. So as you can read there, sometimes if you're not catching fish, it's not because you're doing something wrong. It's literally because there's no fish around. So don't be afraid to move. So we've reeled it in. We're casting it right back out here. I believe we see some more crabs coming up here. Some more speckled crabs. You see them down at the bottom there. Kind of hard to see just yet, but we not only have one crab, but we have two crabs and we do have younger viewers on who watch our videos. So yeah, they're getting a nice little piggyback ride there, having a good old time. I do call them swimmer crabs sometimes because they have those little petal like their, their backmost claw legs are like a little paddles and so they're kind of swimming around and I have sped this up just a little bit because you know those crabs hang around forever and I just didn't want you to have minutes and upon minutes of just crabs. The next thing here we've got a school of pompano. Check them out. Comes right in and they're hooked up and then off just as quickly as they come. Look at him, he's got that in his mouth, shaking around, we got another pompano, we got, would have had a double hook up there if they had both stayed on. And as I mentioned in my other videos, when it seems like one of them gets on and the other one's trying to go after it, the reason that we don't get a double hookup is because the other pompano just can't get his mouth around. It's moving too much with the other pompano who's hooked getting head shakes going. So as you can see, shook it right off. And um, that's just how it goes sometimes. If you're not there quick enough to your line, reeling it in, those pompano are gonna shake themselves off. We got another pompano went across the bottom. And we had another dead time there. We had 13 minutes later. 
Now we see another pompano in that view. It's kind of hard to see him because he's going after that second one. Now we came into the forefront just a little bit there. We can see him better. And I didn't bother slowing that down because we can pretty much tell as they go across the screen there that we got pompano. Now we've reeled it in. And it always amazes me how murky this water is. It doesn't mean it matter how clean we think it is from the top. Still can't see it too well. Here we've got a little tiny pompano. Check this out. This was pretty cool. This little guy comes in. It's hard to see, but he gets hooked up on that second line back there, that second hook. And he is shaking back and forth. And this pompano, as you're going to see here, he... <laughs> He actually started running toward the shore and you'll see how small this thing is and I'm shocked that he was able to pull the camera and a five ounce Sputnik all the way up into the wash so by the time and I'm actually I pulled in part of the actual video from when I was fishing that day I'm kind of letting this run because you just to see this is how far this little tiny pompano pulled all of the, the camera and the Sputnik and went right into shore. It's a good lesson to show you that Pompano, they get hooked up and they will run toward the shore. That's why you see your line go slack. And now I've reeled it in and coming into the shore. And you can see that is not a big Pompano at all. We might have a fish on it. Oh yeah. And it it like swum all the way up to shore. This little baby pompano was so excited to get reeled in that it did, it did all the work for me. <laughs> so here we are going to cast it right back out again. And if you haven't watched any of my other videos, my actually adventure videos, if you've only seen these underwater videos, go back to the channel and watch some of my other adventures. We catch all kinds of fish in the surf and have a lot of fun doing it. So you can see, still murky water. And we've got a fresh sand flea on there, and this little pompano is pecking away at it. He comes in, starts trying to take that, that little uh, sand flea off the hook, but doesn't get quite hooked up. He almost does, but not quite. And we were catching pompano that day, but none of them were keeper size, and that was also reflected in this footage. They were smaller pompano. And now if you will watch, I believe down toward the bottom of the screen, you see a speckled crab messing with the bait again. It's kind of cool watching the sand, how it just gets flung around. Almost looks like, like dust clouds going across the screen. But yeah, we always have these speckled crabs coming around, stealing our bait, especially when we throw it back out. Seems like they're a magnet to it. And I thought that was pretty funny. He had his claws right up in the camera. And he's swimming around, getting flung around by the current. And here we have another pompano coming right up. You take a look at the screen there. You're going to see him coming right in. There he goes. And we're going to slow it down for you. And this looks like a bigger pompano to me. Not keeper size yet, but definitely bigger than that baby pompano that pulled everything into the shore. But does not get quite hooked up and he swims off. What we've got coming up next is really cool. This is the first time we're going to see a polymetta. So we also have a pompano that gets hooked up. Look in the back there. We got this pompano and then we also have a polymetta. You can tell by the long anal fin there hanging down and then he's going to come into the screen to the right there. I'm going to see him just a little bit and you see the top and bottom fin and when I stopped it in a couple spots I could actually see a couple of those we call them grill marks but those are vertical lines down its side. And this pompano is hooked up. I'm going to end up reeling him in which is really cool. That'll be our second fish of the day that's gotten hooked up on the Go Fish Cam. Really cool watching him swimming in as I'm, as I'm reeling him. He's, he's swimming in too. Bringing him up through the wash. That's where you're going to lose him the most is in the wash. There I am up on the shore. I'm going to cast it right back out after we got that pompano off. 
and then it's not very long after we threw it back out that we end up getting hooked up again. Take a look at this. We got a whiting comes right in, gets hooked up, and he is thrashing everywhere. He is definitely hooked on there. I don't think I saw it quite yet because I didn't reel yet, and he is moving all around. Head shakes like crazy, and then he kind of calms down here. And look what happens. Really, really cool. He's just kind of chilled out because he's like, okay, I guess I'm not getting off of this thing. And as he's hanging out, look in the background. He's still on, still hooked. He's thrashing around. And there we have it in the background. Now we've got a pompano. And he, <laughs> he's gotten hooked up on the other line. It's like, you know, didn't he see that this little whiting was stuck on there too? He's like, oh, what's this? And now I'm reeling both of them in at the same time. First time we've ever been doubled up on the Go Fish Cam, so that's really, really cool to be able to pull in two fish on the Go Fish Cam line. Very, very fun. You'll see as we pull it up on the shore, you can see both of the fish. Of course, we got to get through that wash. Seems like it takes forever sometimes. Yeah, you can see that whiting right up in the camera. We have the whiting and the pompano there. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you got all the way to the end, we really appreciate you. And if you get a chance, go look at our store, www.fishandgirlsstore.com. We've got rigs. We've got earrings. We've got t-shirts and tank tops. We've got all kinds of stuff there. But as always, tight lines. God bless. And we'll see you.